turn this radio up real quick. See what's going on in the world. This just in. The 16 counts brought against Jesse Smollett have been dropped. I repeat, the 16 felony counts brought against the puss, I mean actor, Jesse Smollett have been dropped. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, snap. Y'all know what that means. My boy got... I sit and go over every aspect of the Jesse Smollett case. I'm pretty sure everyone is scared about it through whether it's through social media or the mainstream media or whatever. It's, it's been talked about and covered over and over again. But what I did want to do was cover some of the differences in the reactions and how there's still like a divide uh, on the issue because there's not really much middle ground when it's coming to this situation. I mean, it's, there's a group, a large group of people who either want this man hung, it seems like, or you have the other side here who a large group of them still are re they're rejoicing at the fact that the 16 charges were dropped, the counts were dropped, but <laughs> they're still, majority of them still saying that he didn't do anything. And boy, do we know that that's not true. I mean, you have the mayor that's upset, the investigators, the prosecutors, everyone is upset about this thing. Like, everyone knows that the man was at fault here. <laughs> I mean, the guy paid $3,500 to get himself beat up and then sent himself a letter that looks like chicken scratch. I mean, who is this guy, Little Bill? I got a letter. Personally, I feel like the guy should be like intentionally dropping the soap in front of Bill Cosby right now, <laughs> or at least something more than what he got. Maybe not the uh, off with his head, Alice in Wonderland sentence that a lot of other people are trying to give him, but more than a slap on the wrist. But then there's that side that is still denying that the man did anything wrong. So here's the thing, you have a black man, 16 counts against him. The grand jury is involved. How does he escape this racist system? So aside from all the money that he paid to Chicago, we have to be a little bit more consistent with the arguments that we choose to stand on. Because out of one side of our mouth, we we'll say, oh, white privilege, white privilege, oh, the system is just stacked against the black man, they're holding us down, they're holding us down. But here you have a black man who's apparently beat the system, right? So was it about the money? Oh no, he wasn't wrong in the first place, you know? So justice prevailed. That's why he beat the system, yeah, that's how he beat it, because justice prevailed. Well, what about Pookie and Ray Ray? Yeah, everybody has a cousin, or at least knows somebody who's filed a false police report and, and just made it out just fine. Y'all know you do. You know somebody. So how did they do that? Because Pookie and Ray Ray are broke. Maybe the system is not as bad as we're saying it is after all. Or at the very least, not as racist as we say it is. Either way, all I'm saying is there are contradictions in that cognitive thought process. Think about it. And so I'm done with this. Me and my bro will probably do a live stream some later on. That's in the juice, man. But anyway, till then, continue to fight for the Constitution, people. With these. So that hopefully and prayerfully, we never have to use these. Deuce.